with turnovers and getting stops. Towards the end, we couldn't hold on to the ball. You know, I hate to say it, it wasn't anybody in particular. Literally everybody was turning it over. When they up up their intensity, do you feel like you guys had, as a group matched it? I, I don't think so. I think we could have brought it to another level. I think they did outmatch us in terms of intensity in the fourth quarter. So I think we messed up on that part. Seems like, you know, one day Kyrie's in, one day Garrett's out, one day Joe's in, one uh -huh. day Giannis in. What is, I know you say it's next man up all the time, right. but in real time, what's it like having so many guys in and out? Uh, it's tough, you know, for a lot of us that, I mean, no disrespect to the guys that are out, you got to keep your body right, but to the guys that are in almost every game, it's like, all right, who do we have, whether it's going to be our coverage, but in the, the day, for those who are sitting out, we need them in the future, and that's why they're sitting out now. Jared, where do you think Knicks made the most strides since beginning the season and now? Uh, confidence. Oh, I wouldn't even say that. Knicks' confidence never wavers. I would say just being more, being, how to say it, being more assertive out there. Because, you know, he has the skill, he has the body, he has the athleticism. It's just doing it on the court. Has this stretch of tough games against the top teams uh, been, you know, is it kind of testing you guys mentally? It definitely is, uh, especially what this week and last week has been a, a huge test for us. And even coming on, well, I don't know what today is, I think on Wednesday or Thursday we play the Lakers, you know, it's going to be another test. So just for us, this is where we want to be. You know, we want to be playing the top teams. We want to be able to compete. So this is, uh, like you said, a test for us. Simmons in the fourth quarter, well, the end of the third and start of the fourth, uh, you guys played some zone. I mean, how, how tough was he to handle? Uh, Definitely tough. Uh, he's credit to him. He's amazing when he goes downhill. You know, one of the best people at going downhill. He can finish with both hands. He can put his body on anybody. And he was rebounding at the end. So to him, he was, he was just playing his game. He was in rhythm.